Two people who tested positive for coronavirus in North Carolina remain in isolation at home. The cases are in Wake and Chatham counties. Health officials say they are not related. They say a man who was diagnosed in Chatham County traveled last month to an area of Italy dealing with an outbreak. A man in Wake County traveled to Washington State and visited a nursing home that's at the center of the outbreak there. And there are two cases of coronavirus in Virginia. One involves a person in their 80s in the city of Fairfax who had traveled on a Nile River cruise. The other is a U.S. Marine being treated at Fort Belvoir. The two cases are not related. Virginia health officials say both people are recovering. And doctors in South Carolina are monitoring six people with possible coronavirus. Officials say the patients tested positive, but the CDC has not confirmed the cases. All the patients are in isolation. A cruise ship carrying at least 21 people who tested positive for coronavirus will dock today in the port of Oakland, California. The mayor of Oakland says that she is focused on the safety of the port workers and the surrounding community. She called it a humanitarian effort. It is our duty to help these people. The friends and families on board this ship, the passengers who are sitting in fear and uncertainty. While passengers in need of medical treatment will leave first, California residents will go to a federal facility for quarantine and testing. Other passengers will go to Texas and Georgia. Another cruise ship under coronavirus microscope is allowed to dock in Florida. The return of the Regal Princess was delayed Sunday because of two crew members that may have been exposed to coronavirus. The CDC says the crew members in question used to work on the Grand Princess cruise ship in California. Passengers say they're thankful the government and cruise line are working to ensure that they are safe. It was a difficult situation, but they handled it beautifully. They did everything they possibly could do to make us comfortable. They kept us informed. They told us uh, what the, the people were having to do. They, were, they had already spent two weeks in quarantine, so we weren't worried. Well, the Regal Princess next cruise was also canceled. Researchers at Johns Hopkins University are tracking COVID-19 cases around the world. According to their tracking, they've reported 111,000 cases of the coronavirus worldwide. More than half of those, about 62,000 people, are listed as recovered from the virus. Health officials also report more than 20 deaths in the U.S., 19 of them in the state of Washington. Well, Senator Ted Cruz has quarantined himself after interacting with someone who tested positive for coronavirus. Senator Cruz briefly spoke with and shook the hand of the person with symptoms at the Conservative Political Action Conference, or CPAC. While the CDC said the interaction does not meet the criteria for self-quarantine, Cruz decided to stay home. A congressman from Arizona has also chosen to self-quarantine out of precaution. We know a local grocery store is putting limits on how many of certain products that you can buy due to coronavirus concerns. A representative for public tells us due to demand for certain products, they're limiting some items to two items per customer. Here's a list. It includes hand sanitizers, rubbing alcohol and disinfectants. We're told the policy went into effect Friday and applies to all stores.